If you're thinking about tackling the organization in your home, starting with your linens is a great idea. If you're opening that linen closet and it is a scary train, this is the video for you. I'm gonna show you how I made over my linen closet and how to fold those pesky fitted sheets. I am super excited to partner with Brooklinen to create this video. They hooked me up and sent the most gorgeous sheets, the most fluffy towels, and loads of pillowcases. I think you even got a duvet cover. They have the most gorgeous stuff. And I'm gonna show you why I love Brooklinen so much, starting with this fitted sheet. Okay, the fitted sheet has been brought into our lives to create chaos, to create stress, but it is great because once you get that sheet on the bed, it's pretty great that it doesn't move around. I'm gonna show you how to take the stress out of these darn fitted sheets. Now, someone over at Brooklinen is so darn smart that they labeled the short side and the long side. There's these little labels here. Whoever did that, A plus, five stars, I love you, yes ma'am, brilliant. Because we've all been there where we're trying to make the bed and we get the one thing on and we get the other side and it's too darn short. Not gonna happen anymore. So, if you've got your Brooklyn and sheets, you just look, okay, short side. So let's get this fitted sheet folded. So we're just gonna start with our short side and I just put my little fingers in here, okay? I'm looking for the points of the corners, all right? Now, I'm gonna take the other side, the other short side, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm looking for my corners, but now I'm on the inside, okay? And it's really easy to see because this gorgeous pattern um, is opposite, obviously, on the outside. So we'll just get our little points in here. I love, love showing you guys how to do this because it's just really great. Okay, so we take our point and we're just gonna put it and match it to the other point, all right? So it's short side to short side. And notice I'm just giving it a little, a little love, a little fluff here. Now, same thing, this point goes here. Point that up, fabulous. Now you get to like act like you're at the Met Ball and just like posing and just check out yourself in the mirror. I mean, it's laundry, okay? We gotta make it exciting somehow. Okay, so we've got our points now. I'm gonna take the right point and I'm gonna bring it to the left point. Now here's the part where you might get confused. I'm now gonna flip this whole thing over, all right? What we're looking for is a C shape of elastic, like this, okay? Once you see that, you're, you're in the home stretch, okay? And then the rest of it, you just wanna smooth out kind of even out a little bit, make sure it's nice and smooth and flat. And then how I do that is I like to sweep it, okay? So you just go sweep, sweep, very easy. So we're gonna take this side and we're gonna bring it towards the elastic. And this is gonna really determine how wide your little packet's gonna be, okay? So I don't like to bring it over the bulk of the elastic. We don't want it to be bulky, we want it to be nice and smooth. Now I'll flip this forward. And the goal is that the elastic doesn't go past this border here. I know I sound crazy and I'm being like super picky, but I promise you when you rock out this technique, you're gonna be a very happy camper, okay? All right, so do a little sweep. It's also very cathartic. I feel like I should be doing like a meditation or something while I'm doing the sweep. All right, so we've swept, we've swept. This is nice and uh, nice and clean, all right? Now, I'm gonna take this. This is the bulkier side. We're gonna start here, and I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna flip, all right? Now, depending on how deep your shelf is, is how big you want this. When I was growing up, our uh, linen closet was so short, it was so shallow, that we had to have this really particular way of folding. So if yours is very narrow, here's a little trick. What you can do is once you get to the end, if you've got a little excess, you just open it, close it a little bit inside, and there you go. So you can really make this sheet whatever depth you want. Obviously the smaller, it's gonna be a little bit higher, but at least it'll fit on your shelf and you'll be able to shut your door. All right. You guys, 
if you've just done this with me, you deserve a gold star on the fridge because you have just mastered the art of folding the fitted sheet. I know. I sound crazy, but this is something that all of us struggle with, okay? So just give it a little press, put some love into it, and I'm gonna put that to the side, okay? Now, the next part is the other sheet. Now they, at Brooklyn Inn, they have two different kinds. They have a luxe, and then they have their classic. I love both of them. I got some white sheets that are the standard. I've got these that are the luxe. These are just a little softer, they're a little bit heavier, and the other ones are a little bit lighter, okay? So, again, think about short side, long side, okay? So obviously the short side is this way. So now we've got our short side. Just kind of shake that out. Now, often you're gonna see in a movie or something when people are folding sheets, they have like two people and it's like a whole process. I'm gonna show you how to not have to deal with that. Use your third hand. Theodore, where is my third hand? Are you crazy? Your third hand is right here. It's your chin. All right, now you get to make that weird face and the weird sound. Join up the corners. And then there you can fold it in half, give it a shake, nice and clean. See that third hand trick, she works, okay? Now I can just flip this up. What are we gonna do, folks? Let's think about it. We're gonna sweep, so just sweep it all, fold it in half one more time, and then we'll fold it in half one more time. Now, what you wanna do is grab your fitted sheet, set it on top, and make sure it's the same size. If it's not, you can adjust things, but this worked out. I've done this before, all right? So, I've got that. Now, pillowcase. These pillowcases are innovative. Hello, what? Innovative? Yes, who knew you could reinvent the wheel, but Brooklinen has reinvented the pillowcase, all right? So what they've done is they have an envelope closure, which means that your whole pillow looks nice and clean and it doesn't slide around. Again, I want to talk to the person who invented this because you're brilliant. You're, you're a good person. We like you. All right, so same thing, short side to short side. And I even got four pillowcases from them, which is just so luxurious to me. Okay, one more time, fold it in half. Now I'm just gonna fold it in half one more time. Perfect. This will make sense in a second. So I've got the rest of my four pillowcases already folded. I'm just gonna stack that on top. All right, this is the part where things get really cool. So we're gonna take our fitted sheet on top of our flat sheet. And then we're just going to rotate. And this is going to make it a packet. Rotate or flip? It, we're gonna flip, okay. So we're gonna flip that forward, flip that forward, flip that forward just to get an idea of if you're gonna have some excess, which we are just a little bit, okay. Now I can put my pillowcases right in here. I'm just gonna stack them too high and just keep them really nice and tight so that this packet looks clean. Now I can just fold this over top. And we have a beautiful sheet packet that has your fitted sheet, your flat sheet, and four pillowcases. So when you open that closet or that cupboard or whatever you have, you see calm and you're not running around trying to find a pillowcase. This is super handy, especially if you have guests coming over and you need to make a bed quickly, you're ready to go. I've seen a million different ways to do this. I've seen where you put the pillowcase outside and like they're really convoluted and seem to take a lot of time. This really doesn't take a lot of time, but it works so brilliantly. I know I sound like I'm taking this crazy seriously, but I am gonna tell you, organization really does start with fabrics, okay? So like getting the towels, getting the sheets in order, then the clothes, if you've got that in order, organizing the rest of your house is a piece of cake. Now, you might be saying, Theodore, this is all lovely, but I don't have a linen closet. Guess what, girl? I don't either. I have a little linen cupboard. So when we bought our house, there was uno 
Uno closet. Just the one. Yeah, it's behind the camera. One closet. She also had laundry in her. Goodbye. So this is our linen uh, closet cupboard. And I absolutely love it because it just is a really easy way to keep everything super organized. We've got duvet covers, sheets, towels, even like shoe care. I've got my workout towels, my yoga towels. Everything is in here. It's so nice. It's so clean. And it just, it makes me so happy. And that way, you know exactly what you have. And I folded all of them so these little doors will shut because this is actually pretty narrow, um, which I don't mind because if it's too deep, then you have like too many layers and it's kind of hard to find stuff. But this just closes right here, nice and tidy, and you're good to go. So I absolutely am so obsessed with Brooklinen. I hope you guys check it out. I will put a link in the description so that you guys can check them out. You can get your sheet set that tells you what's short, what's long. They feel so buttery. The best part is for me is you don't have to go to the store because I used to go to the store. I would look at the department stores and I didn't like anything. Not to mention you're actually going to save money because you're not going to the store. You don't have to deal with all those markups and parking and all that stuff. Okay. Thank you again so much to Brooklinen for hooking us up with brand new sheets and towels. Check out the link in the description so you can do your own little shopping trip and upgrade that dusty, musty linen closet. Use these folding techniques, and when you open those doors the next time, I swear, sunbeams are just going to come out and say, Aww. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!